president of the chamber in 1984 and uh, responsible during the, uh, during the National Energy Program. The policies of the federal government uh, were uh, quite restrictive to the resource industry and uh, we suffered substantially in those periods of time. Probably one of the uh, best things uh, that we did uh, was with uh, Art Smith and, uh, and the mayor, Ralph Klein, at that time, uh, started Calgary Economic Development. During that period also, uh, we had a lot to do with the early establishment of OCO 88 and uh, the bringing of the Olympics to Calgary. The chamber played a vital role in, uh, in pursuing that uh, opportunity for Calgary for the 88 Winter Olympics. You know, as we sit here today, there are many similarities to what we were going through in the period when I was there, 1989 to 95. We were still suffering the after effects of the Natural Energy Program. We were suffering the effects of uh, interest rates. The Bank of Canada interest rate in 1991 hit 19%, and the oil business, the price of oil was not good. So there were a lot of economic restraints going on in the city and in the province. The chamber spent a lot of its advocacy time uh, trying to convince the governments of various stripes that uh, we needed to, uh, you know, get a hold and manage these uh, fiscal issues. On top of that, we had the, the national unity issue. And our chamber, uh, along with some major chambers across Canada, uh, behind the scenes, we're playing a pretty substantial role in trying to keep unity a fact of life. The other initiative that was going on was the privatization of the Calgary Airport. On the national scene, we lobbied hard for the National Energy Board to be moved to Calgary. On top of that, I think it's fair to say that the the concept of this Alberta advantage in our taxation system here was instrumental in bringing Imperial Oil headquarters and the Canadian Pacific Railway headquarters to Calgary. I'm not saying the Chamber did this on its own, but because of our efficacy on taxation and regulation to the provincial government, I think we had some impact there. I had the honour to serve on the board of the Chamber for numerous years, uh, culminating in being the chair of the board in 2013. If you go back 125 years, um, the Chamber was the pre preeminent uh, and probably only uh, voice for business in the City of Calgary. And so a lot has changed in those 125 years. The business community has changed, the number of organizations in the City uh, purporting to do what the Chamber was doing had also grown. There was quite frankly more competition uh, in some respects for some of the things that the Chamber was trying to do. Many people in the city, of course, remember that the Chamber uh, sold uh, its beautiful old historic building as part of that transformation. That's probably the largest manifestation of the change, but the Chamber uh, went through a very strategic uh, vision session about what the Chamber was and what it, what it needed to be to be relevant to the business of, of Calgary in the future. Uh, that strategic planning session uh, had the Chamber introduce new programs, uh, a uh, new management team, uh, moved to a new building, all to become more relevant and to better serve the business community. We had gone through our transformation. We've, uh, we had sold the building. Uh, we had invested the proceeds of the building sale. Uh, we were in beautiful brand new space. Uh, and then of course, the summer of 2013, uh, the rain started to fall. Uh, the next morning, I, uh, I realized the extent of of the, the flood in the city. The city reached out to the chamber to help with responses to the small business community uh, with the uh, emergency planning and how can the chamber and the city work together as partners to serve the city at that challenging time. So the chamber responded very, very quickly. Adam Legg and the management team did a fabulous job uh, responding, uh, reaching out to small business, reaching out to the emerg emergency uh, services, then the aftermath of the flood, the chamber uh, and the management team worked to, to ensure that the, the small businesses and the businesses in Calgary were able to bounce back from the flood. I am very proud of the chamber. Uh, I want to say congratulations. Imagine 125 years. Imagine 1891, what it was like. It was the Board of Trade then. And 
uh, I think that even then, it was br helping bring people to this city and for it now to be so vibrant 125 years later, that's a huge kudo for, for a, a chamber anywhere. But especially, I think, we should be very proud that it was a, a chamber before we were incorporated as a town. That's pretty amazing. So it's just, I wanna say huge congratulations to, the, to all the members, the board and that staff for building such a, such a very extraordinary chamber.